Radioactivity. Some atomic nuclei are unstable and emit radiation. They're considered radioactive. Now, there's only three types of radiation they can emit. And because scientists didn't really know exactly what they were when they discovered them, they named them after the first three letters in the Greek alphabet, alpha, beta, and gamma. So let's look at this process in some more detail, and we'll start by recapping what an atom actually is. On screen now is an atom of carbon. In the nucleus, the centre of the atom, we have protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive charge, and neutrons have no charge at all. Whizzing around the nucleus are electrons, and they have a negative charge. In an atom, there's the same number of protons as electrons, meaning an atom is neutral overall. So why are some atoms radioactive? Well, it's all to do with the nucleus, so let's just focus on that. In the nucleus, we have lots of protons, which are all positively charged. And because of that, they want to repel each other. It's the neutrons in the nucleus that stop this and hold the whole thing together. This nucleus, a carbon nucleus, has six neutrons and six protons and is a stable nucleus. However, carbon can also exist with six protons and eight neutrons. This is an isotope of carbon. An isotope is a version of an element with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. So this new isotope of carbon, carbon-14, is unstable. The balance of protons and neutrons is wrong and it wants to adjust this. So it can do this by beta decay. What it does, it just completely randomly and spontaneously can turn a neutron into a proton, emitting a beta particle. This beta particle is actually just a high speed electron. Right now, let's move on and look at the other two types of radiation, alpha and gamma. Well, let's look at an isotope of uranium, uranium-238. This is again an unstable nucleus, but this time it doesn't undergo beta decay. What it can do, it can actually eject two protons and two neutrons from the nucleus. And two protons and two neutrons is essentially exactly the same as the nucleus of a helium atom, and we call this an alpha particle. Also, when it does this, it emits a burst of electromagnetic radiation, or gamma radiation. Now, gamma radiation always occurs alongside alpha or beta, and not on its own. So, to recap, some isotopes are unstable and emit radiation. We call them radioactive. In order to make themselves stable, they can do three things. They can emit an alpha particle, which is the same as a helium nucleus. They can emit a beta particle, which is a high-speed electron, and they can also emit a burst of electromagnetic radiation or gamma radiation.